I'm Bobby. I am Brent. And you're watching Flirting Time News, episode one. Awesome. Yeah. All, All right. Totally improv. No lessons. <laughs> We're just that. We're that good at this. Acapella. I mean, you should know that by now. I mean, you've seen this many episodes at this point. You should know how awesome we are at improv acapella. Me and Brent are a uh, dynamic duo. We're actually. For the ages. I don't know if you guys know this, but I mean, neither of us went to Yale, but we were in the Whiff and Poofs, which yes. is like the most famous acapella group from Yale. And then we got kicked out. And then we got kicked out, but creative differences. That's just because, yeah, we had creative differences. I think they were just jealous. They they were mad that we were just taking the spotlight. Yeah. Them, and so. also, I think they didn't realize that we weren't, we weren't actual students at Yale, and I think that's kind of a thing. <laughs> hey, we watched the online classes for free. That we counts. did. That's, we'll put some links below to the online classes. To Yale. Links below. Check to it out. Generic Yale class. <laughs> this is Yale 101. You know what? Let's just become professors at Yale and yeah. teach like. And then we around. can join like a secret society like Skull and Bones or something like that. Ooh. Yeah. Or then the we could be president someday. The Freemasons. The Freemasons. Yeah, sure. I'm sure they're around too. They built the school. Yeah. Yale. There's connections there. There's connections to be had. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a different ep for us because this is, um, normally we kind of like to show you little tips and tricks how to create really cool new looking stuff. So yep. my transitions, some cool effects. This is different because we're actually sort of um, relearning how to do something that we've known how to do for a long time. Yes. And it's something pretty basic too that you will probably use every time you use Premiere, and it's the title editor tool. Yeah, the title editor tool. Everyone knows the uh, the good old fashioned title editor tool in Premiere Pro, and we actually have done a few tutorials on how to use it. Yep. Now, in the new update of Premiere Pro 2017 uh, that was updated on April 6th, they actually changed the title editor completely. Yes, and a whole you can new ball no game. Do what you can whole do. new ball game here, folks. So Bobby and I saw it, we tried to use Premiere, and we're like, where did I title editor go? Yeah. And we both kind of cried. We like wept openly for about... And we avoided it for like... About an hour and a half while Zach kind of just shook his head at us while yeah. we were just at the desk weeping. And at some getting point... Getting the new computer all wet and stuff. Yeah. Ruining the motherboard. It was a scene. And then there was some point where Zach was like, okay, you guys need to actually learn how to use this. So we learned it and we're going to teach you today. Yeah, because I'm sure it. a lot of you had the same reaction that we did, which was, what the flipping flip? What happened to my title editor? But you know what? We're going to go through it anyway because change is the reality of life. And, and you have to deal with the change. And the times they are a change in. And, um, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones about change too. Um, I'm sure Lady Gaga's got one Roll about change. Roll the changes. Roll the changes. Ario Speedwagon. Yes. Sure. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're taking the Ario Speedwagon approach and rolling with those changes. We got keep, our new t-shirts. Keep. Oh yeah, check it out. New t-shirt. We got our um, not, lapels and new computer. We got some lapel mics because we're being fancy. We got a new camera, new computer. New recording software for our screen records. It, it, it's thing, all new. Everything is, everything is new. Everything feels great. I feel refreshed. Yeah, we can keep recording without stopping. Yeah, we're just we're we're wasting we're wasting so much time yeah. right now, and it's, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> let's get rolling into the tutorial. Yeah, so let's talk about this update. Okay. So, Bobby, what's different about this whole title editor thing? Okay, so Premiere and Adobe has tried to take a new approach to the title editor, where they've sort of tried to make it a little bit more intuitive. Okay. And. Uh, it's now a lot more similar to Photoshop or After Effects in the way that they do titles. Interesting. So we're going to take a drone shot that we have here. Cool. Okay, perfect. That, that'll do just fine. Bart'll do. That's good enough for you guys. Just fine. That's good enough. That's all you're going to get. I'm being very aggressive Yeah, you're right being, now. you're kind of scared. I'm coming in hot a bit. You're, you're coming in so hot, my brain's like not adapting to I'm it. Ready I'm ready to like, go today. Last week I was down in the dumps. I was bumming yeah. about the Bruins, but you know what? The Celtics won last night. I'm, oh. I'm jumping on the band, bandwagon for the Celtics yeah, because Brent. the Bruin, Bruins blew it. So I feel a little bit better now. Yeah. So we got our shot right here. We okay. just dragged it in. It's about seven seconds long, and cool. it's a nice little drone shot here. Sparky coming in hot. Of Sparky, Zach and Jesse's car coming yep. in pretty hot. Coming in pretty hot. So here, so the old title editor used to be right around here. You would click. New and it would be right at the top. It would say title. Yes. So we noticed in this new update that it's just completely gone. And we freaked out. We freaked out. We didn't know what Naturally. was going on. And we had noticed down here that there's this uh, new type tool effect here. So now you can actually uh, hit the T 
on your keyboard for a shortcut to that type tool. And now what you can do is you can go right onto the program monitor here and just click on the program monitor and this box will come up. Okay. Which will allow you to type anything you want. So let's just say Tesla time news. Sure. And your first thing you're gonna notice when using this is that you can't, if you use uh, shortcuts like I do, uh, you'll be, you'll basically, you want to hit the V key to go back to your regular selection tool. But what's gonna happen is you're just gonna end up typing. So you're either gonna have to click down here into the type, the timeline, or select the selection tool over here to get out of that. Gotcha. Now, when you click back onto the title here, you'll notice that it's no longer red and right. you can't really edit it. So that's because we now have our motion and scale selected. Okay, so which is when shown you're, by being blue. Right, so when we're in our normal select tool, we can do that sort of stuff we instead can of typing. Move it around, we can lift it up, we can okay. change the anchor point here. Interesting. So there's a lot of stuff we can do. Sure. But now you'll, you'll notice if you're used to the legacy title tool, which was the old one, you'll notice that all the stuff that you used to have before is missing. You can actually get that back by this new feature here, which go to window and essential graphics is this essential graphics tab. And yeah. you can basically just drag that over here into the right side. Every time you create a new graphic, which is this block down here. Okay. It's going to. Oh, okay. Create. This is starting to look a little more familiar. Yeah. Now, so now you have all these different features where you can edit and tweak some properties on cool. the title. You can set presets based on different designs so that you can open up new projects later and use older presets that you've created. Okay. Now, down here, you have the selection for your text and you'll notice you can no longer uh, sort of scrub through. Something that we figured out is if you hover over our, your font here and scroll down your mouse, you ah, can actually- there we go, that's better. You can have a live view of the different yeah. tech font that you're on. Because most of us don't have all the fonts memorized. Yeah, I mean, I do, them. but not everyone yeah, can be Brian like me. Yeah, does, because he's the, the rare exception. I'm the rare exception. He's a prodigy. I stay up late at night just <laughs> looking at fonts. Yeah, every weekend he makes me read them flashcards. <laughs> it's, my life is basically like a like movie montage where it's just like fonts flying past my face and I'm frantically typing on a keyboard just looking at fonts like come on come on come on this reminds more me fonts. of like uh, some kind of like national treasure type movie exactly that you got it you got it yeah, exactly I know right exactly what you're talking about so you, we've selected our moonshiner font yes and you can change the size here too as well cool. you can make it centered or aligned to the left or right yeah and we have a few different stretch tool or other stretch tool all the stretches. All the stretches, all the old tools that we used to have are now sort of simplified and then this one little section here. If you go down to the bottom, we have our appearance where you can sort of create a stroke and fill, change the color by double clicking and selecting, and you can have a drop shadow back. Okay, so that's all great. We've got all our new tools over here, but say that you got used to the old legacy tool and you kind of missed the way that it used to be. Mm -hmm. Now, you can actually use it still. If you go up to the file, menu up here and you go down to new. We're just going to select legacy title and it'll create a new legacy title. Right. So we'll just like old times. times. And there's the old legacy title screen that we all know and love. And it has everything that it used to have up here. The biggest thing that you'll probably notice about the new feature is that you don't have the ability anymore to uh, change the fill type from a solid to a gradient. You can still go into legacy and do that here, but you no longer have the ability to do that into the appearance. I'm assuming that Adobe will eventually change this and fix it, mm -hmm. but right now they don't have that feature. Okay. So. Bummer. Yeah, we've tried everything. We can't figure out yeah. if it's there. I mean, it seems like they're trying to push you towards using some of those like preset ones that yeah, they have. Yeah, exactly. But I some of them are kind of neat. I mean, you should play around with them, try them out. There's yeah, some we'll cool play stuff around with them. Now let's go a little bit more into how this works. So when you wanna create a um, new section of text in this graphic, okay. you can actually just select your T tool and select somewhere else in the project monitor. Okay. And select, I don't know, let's say uh, episode 34. Sneak preview at Test Time News episode 34. Oh my goodness. Yes. 
So you lucky ducks. Now we can individually control. One hundred of you. We can individually individually control the alignment of this new text box and the size, the fonts, the opacity, anything we want. We can individually control this, but it's going to be a part of the same graphic down here. Interesting. Almost as if it was part of the legacy title editor. Gotcha. So it's still sort of all in the same thing. So we can actually go over to our effect controls and scale the whole thing as a as one single object. Oh, okay. Or go into the essential graphics here and edit them individually. Interesting. We can also add up here if we go to new. We can add rectangles. Some shapes. Some shapes. We can add some ellipses. Ellipses. So sort of going back to the old legacy title a little bit. Now we can also change which layer it's on over here. Oh, okay, yeah, so that kind of works more like a Photoshop or a um, After Effects where you yeah. can more easily stack your layers. Before you had to like right click on a thing and then go down to like position or alignment or whatever yep. it was and then be like move to back, move to front. Yeah, it's and really frustrating. It's, it's hard This to is use. a little more intuitive, so I do like that. Yeah, because that, that was one thing that was super annoying at times is like you're trying to click the thing that's behind yeah. the thing. But you keep getting the one that's on top of it, and you're just trying to oh. click on the perfect spot to get it. It was so, so annoying. annoying. It was really so cool. annoying. So this is a nice little that. feature to that's cool. I like that. Fix now when you're going in to select and change uh, your text, you have to always remember that the easiest way to edit it is to click the T tool. Okay. Now one problem they have is when you do select the title editing keyboard shortcut, it also always adds a adds T. A T. <laughs> That's one fault that this has is that yeah. it's it's kind of confusing. Yeah, they that could, way. they haven't gotten it all kind of like it's not perfect yet. Yeah, there's definitely some little like tweaks that they're gonna have to make. Yeah, it's, as it's they a go. new feature, so you know they're still learning. If you want to create a mask and have your text sort of come into the mask, what's really annoying is once you create a mask. So let's we'll just do this for example. We'll sort of mask out the rest of the words and we'll just sort of create a mask over the word time. Okay. So. Something that you'd maybe want to do is have the text come into the mask and be revealed. But what's really annoying is when you move the position, the text and the mask both move together. Yeah, and that, that defeats the whole purpose. It defeats the whole purpose of the mask. It's really frustrating. Like, what is going on? So come on. they've added a new feature in this new fe uh, title editor, which is kind of cool, where they've attached a transform effect tool. Oh, to, now we're talking. Yeah, it's it's part of the graphic editor now. So if we go down to our transform, you can actually move the position. Nice. And it will. Look at that. Basically, mask leave the stays mask put. Thing. The mask will stay put, and the text will move around. That's really the cool. Mask. I'd say overall, I like the new update. I think it's going to take a lot of getting used to. Yeah, I kind of agree. I like it too. I think there's you know bonuses, and then there's also some not so great stuff. Yeah. So hopefully they'll kind of figure out those things as they go along. And the cool thing too is that you do still have your legacy title editor. So if so you don't like it, if they or you, you can, can kind of use a combination of the both. If yeah. you if you like like certain aspects, like if you want to do some sort of animation like the scene, like how you have all the different transforms and the layers, you could do that. And then if you just want to do more simple whatever text, you can just use your legacy title. You can com combo the two of them yeah, and it's use them as you need them. As you guys know, the past couple of weeks, we've introduced a new segment where we like to read our favorite comment of, of the, the week. week. What is our favorite one this week, Brent? Oh, that is a great question. I think our favorite comment is right here, and it comes from Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Oh, wow. Mr. Wayne himself is a fan of learning. I didn't know that. Bruce. Uh, or maybe, I don't know. Is he a fan? We're about to find out. Yeah, so what did he say, Brent? Bruce Wayne said, if you don't want to make a video, da, 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 question mark, let me help you out. Don't make one. Whoa. This is annoying to watch because you clearly don't want to be doing this. You even said so multiple times in the first two minutes. I can't even. Yeah. Well, I mean... Hey, well, first of all, thank you, Bruce, for watching. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that um, Bruce Wayne, of all people, is watching our video tutorials. As a big Batman fan, I'm very pleased. What does Bruce Wayne have to do with Batman? Oh, yeah. They're not the same. 
Uh, I'm I'm confused. I mean, I know they they kind of like live in the same city and stuff, but yeah, they're. I don't know what you're trying to infer. I'm sorry. I don't Let's appreciate just forget it. about it. Let's I don't appreciate it. it. I don't know what you're trying to say. Bruce Wayne is a good man. He is not yeah. the Batman. He is not the Batman vigilante. Yeah, we need to get that guy out of our city. Yeah, let's get that Batman out of here. So, first of all, thanks, Bruce, for watching the show. Mr. Wayne, I mean, I'm sorry. No disrespect there. Mr. Wayne. Yes. Mr. Mr. Wayne. Wayne. He's a, you know, very valuable member of our community. Um, uh, just Upstanding, all, upstanding community sit, member. Yes. Donates tons of money to charities and stuff. And um, just all around good guy. Kind of Helps a, out. Kind of a quiet, weird guy. So I'm very surprised to see him uh, commenting on yeah, our video. Yeah, I know. It's surprising. I didn't even know quite he had surprising. a YouTube, But anyway. Yeah, well, good for him. I mean, I should, we should maybe subscribe to his channel. Maybe he's know. learning video editing on his back computer. I mean... Why, why do you keep saying I'm that, sorry, Bobby? Brent. I'm sorry. What I'm, is going... You could get sued for, for slander. Just forget about it. You me. could get sued... Just forget about for it. For slander. Just forget about it. I don't, I don't know why I said that. But we should probably address his comment, first of all. Yeah, so I guess we were a little down in the dumps last week yeah, a little we bit, huh? Yeah, we were a little huh? down in the dumps last week. We watched Manchester by the Sea. The Bruins lost. The, the Bruins lost that game and ultimately the series. The where, Celtics were down 0-2. It was a rough week. It was a little bit of a rough week. Yeah. Now, I'll, I'll be honest... We were playing it up just a, a, ta a skosh. We were being a, a bit dramatic. We're being a bit dramatic it for a comedic completely effect. completely real. Yeah. We thought As, people would appreciate it. Yeah. You know, sometimes I feel like people just don't get us. You know what I mean? I feel the same way. I feel so misunderstood. I feel like a brooding teenager. I do. I kind of look like a brooding teenager. You My hair's do. getting a little long. Yeah, Brian, I think you need I'm, I'm getting a little bit of an emo look going on right now because I need a haircut. Same. You know, I look like I'm in a punk band right now. Yeah, well, you know, we should we should punk it up a little bit. I Bobby just has them. Bobby has bangs. I bangs. He has bangs. Let's get back to the comments. Yeah, but anyway, we were kind of playing it up a little bit. Not really that down dumps. We're professionals. Professional. We we you know we're just like the rest of you, Bruce. We go into work every week. We do our job whether we, get, we feel get, like it or not. Get a good eight hours of sleep every night. We don't go out to the city and yeah, fight crime. Vigilante style. We don't do that. Yeah. Just like Mr. Wayne, he doesn't do that either. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're just people. We're just human. We're just people, just like you guys. We're just like Mr. Human. Wayne. All right, you know what? He's I'm just going to say it. I think Bruce Wayne is Batman. I'm done. I think he's Batman. They've never been in the same room at the same time. Bobby. I believe it. You should believe it too. What Join is, the movement. What is going on? I believe it, Brent. I believe. Right, Bruce. Cut the feed. Cut the I feed. I believe Bruce cut Wayne. The <laughs> With Bobby and Brent. <laughs> uh oh. Comment of the week. Sorry, I'm gonna have to put this back on. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry. Bloopers. Bloopy bloops. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick and I go far back. Where you go back and look for the. Organs. Well, I mean, Nick and we're friends. Nick, Nick Nicholas. Cage? Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Nicholas. I, I, oh, okay. I call him Nick. Does he go by Nicholas? He goes by Nick. Okay. At least we're close friends. I didn't know that. Brent knows. He prefers friend. Nick. Nicky. Sometimes Nikki. Nikki, if you're like being cheeky. I call him Nickelback. He's funny. <laughs> he likes that Let's too. I call him Nickelback because he's the Nickelback we, we, of movies. We have a good laugh about it. I like the uh, Nickel Cage meme. Did you what? See that? I haven't. It's, uh, we'll it's put it Nickelback. up on the screen. It's Nickelback with Nick Cage's face. That's funny. You put Nick Cage's face on anything, it's better. Yeah.